Hmm, good question. Um, the uh, Being part of the fellowship me- has meant to me that I've been able to meet other like-minded leaders, um, emerging leaders as well, which I think is really, really important across many areas of, of Australia. But what really attracted me to it was the fact that it wasn't just mental health, but it was in such a variety of areas. Um, and the program itself, being able to be exposed to so many different people um, uh, from all over Australia, but also from Melbourne University and the Commission and all the rest of the commissions has been really inspiring. Um, So that's definitely what's attracted me to it. Yeah, so mental health reform, a couple of the things that probably stands out for me, which are really important, is how we look at stigma reduction. So we actually need to improve the whole conversation around mental health. And I think sometimes we focus purely on, you know, depression, anxiety, those sorts of things, but we don't always actually uh, do enough work around realising that people with other illnesses such as borderline personality, bipolar, schizophrenia are still some of the most stigmatised people um, in society and still have that uh, that issue of having to face that when they're first diagnosed, but also having to face the feelings they're feeling themselves about their illness and what that may mean in the future. The other thing that really fits with that as well is the role of trauma-informed care, but also the way we use seclusion and restraint. I think we really need to change that um, because often sometimes the way we treat people in the way of treatment, I guess, is that we're actually uh, increasing the trauma and actually re-traumatising people um, and may actually mean that they turn around in the end and don't ask for our help again because of their experience. So changing that experience but also changing that conversation is probably some of my core priorities and I think are some of the core priorities for mental health services. So um, a variety of ways to really inform me as to take my next steps in leadership but and to move beyond the positions I'm in at the moment and moving forward. But um, the biggest thing as well is looking at how I can inform both my practice as a manager and supporting other peer leaders throughout the Australia and other consumers and carers, but also how I can actually help grow a team, how I can grow, grow individuals and support people to become leaders in their own right. Um, and that's been really important. And I think that some of the biggest things that's helped me over my career as people who've invested and believed in me, and that makes such a difference. And being able to do that, not just to the people we work with, but the the people we treat every day as well is really, really important um, uh, because I think it's really important that we help people realise their true potential and how important and amazing each of them are.